What's up guys, back again in another video. Today we have ourselves here, the Civivi Rustic Gent. Uh, this is gonna be in the brown matrix micata handle with carbon fiber bolster, gray stainless steel liner, and the Damascus. Um, did a little bit of research on it before buying it. Um, I did want the green micata, but um, I just have a lot of D2 steel blades, so I was like, uh, maybe I'll pay a little bit extra just for the Damascus version. And I didn't have, I didn't, you know, I only heard good things about it online, so decided to pick one up. I did get this guy through White Mountain Knives. Uh, they offered a little 10% discount on there um, through their site, so it was a little cheaper. No shipping, free tax. So um, normally I get my stuff through Blade HQ, but I will put down the links at the bottom of this page to where you can purchase these guys. And it did come with this. I didn't know, they didn't advertise it on. Um, white mountain knives but uh, it came with a little bead lanyard also uh, my last purchase for knife day 2020 uh with my um orange odium which is this guy uh it did come with that so um pretty cool uh didn't 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 know it was gonna be coming so nice to have some extra you know so let's open it up and see what we have here today guys so um pretty excited <clears throat> Again, uh, they do only have two um, carbon fiber versions of this. Uh, the first one is, uh, I think, Black G10, I think. Black G10 and carbon fiber with the Damascus. But I wanted, I wanted uh, myself the, uh, just a different color, just because, um, you know, we have so many, I have so many knives that kind of look the same, so a little different. And we'll have today here a, uh, where did I put my guy? A zero tolerance. That's my other uh, slip joint. These aren't actual like legit slip joints, I believe. So with this one, it comes with the stickers. You can see it locked in there. Oh. Normally they come in a carrying case. This is a smaller box, uh, and then it'll be your I'll read before opening the knife manual. I'm not gonna do that. Cloth, some packs, the knife, and a leather sheath. That's probably why it doesn't come with the carrying case. This is the green case, so we'll um, we'll put these guys back in there and we'll take a peek at this. Okay, so off the bat, the knife right here looks really nice. Very very nice transition from the bolsters to the um, the my Carter bolsters to the carbon fiber. You can't even tell with your finger. Wow, that feels good. Now let's uh let's get that back in here so we can start poking around. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I was leaning toward the green micarta just because it looks nice, but um, I had a green micarta knife already, so I kind of just went with something a little different. So what I have here is a CRKT. Um, the micarta on that uh, version looks pretty similar, so I uh, decided to not get the green micarta uh, just because I really like this. It does look nice, but... Um, Again, want something different for the rustic gent. So it's a slip joint here. Just off the bat looking at it, it looks really good. I love how it looks. It feels very smooth running across your hands on it. There's a lock, lock back in the back right here. They say it's a slip joint, but oh, I guess the slip joint is just the way it opens and then. Yeah, so they do have a part right here where you can put your lanyard. Uh, looks like it'll be a little hard to do, but um, once you get it in there, it'll look really nice. It's just for a more nicer, sleek look, which is nice. It kind of hides it. So cool. So opening up the blade. Yeah, I can feel the one lock. And then number two. Feels really good so far. The carbon fiber looks nice, and the Damascus just beautiful for you guys to look at yeah but uh, with the bolsters they run so smooth you can barely tell that there's even a transition if if it was dark and you're holding this you wouldn't even you wouldn't even be able to tell you know this carbon fiber or uh, the marcata part that's nice good job on Civivi's part for that I have seen people take these apart. They look pretty easy, but uh, I'm not planning to do that with this. 
uh, just after I purchased my um, my zero tolerance zero three uh, zero two thirty model, I really liked it, so I decided to get another slip joint. So um, here's the other one I have here for it to compare to. So this one's uh, also a slip joint, but it doesn't have a back lock. So back one, back one, and then if you were to close it, you just and this one's really smooth. Um, I'll show you guys in a bit. So yeah, uh, with this so far, I like how it looks. Um, in the beginning, I wasn't really digging the blade style, but now I'm starting, it's growing on me since I purchased the knife. Uh, it's a plain edge. The blade style is a clip point, Damascus. And let's go with the measuring stuff before I forget to do this, okay? So um, overall here, the blade length looks like it's about three inches. Uh, online, it says it's three inches. And the overall 6.75, 6.75, and then the close length here. So once you click that, it releases it for the first time, and then the second time you don't have to click anything. And it just closes down for you. And then with the handle, a little bit under four inches. And let's go with the weight. A little heavier than that guy, but I'll show you guys right here. 2.6 ounces. Online advertised as 2.7, so nice. And this guy's like two ounces, I think. Yeah, 1.8, very light. Yeah, so um, I've been playing with this guy so often. It's like so fidgety, so I end up getting one of these guys. This one's just awesome because, um, you know, my nail is not long enough to like stick in there with your one finger, but what I do is I hold it, I just fling once and it opens. Do what I need to do, do this for fine cutting, then you close it. Or you can just open it up. When you're done, just a light push, and then flick down, and it closes. In case anybody didn't see any of these yet, but uh, these are pretty awesome. Uh, I think it's kind of built the same way for this, because in here there's a little bearing. I don't know if you can see that in there. You see that little shiny reflective part right there? And that helps lock the knife into certain points where it's the half click. And then the close, half click, last click. And I think something similar to this guy. So open it up. I don't see bearings in there, but um, actually there's a video of them taking part of line, so I didn't really pay attention too much. I was just seeing if they liked it or not. But no, it looks like it just washers in here. Don't see anything else. But it, yeah, it's probably how the blades cut out. But yeah, so overall so far, I like it. Feels really nice, looks really nice. Feels good. For sure this is a two-hander. You can't just kind of, you can probably kind of press the button and then push it against something before you end up closing it. But yeah, uh, let's do a quick cut test just to take a look and then we'll compare it next to each other. <clears throat> Test. Yeah, it's sharp. And then, lengthwise, again, um, this guy does come in a drop point. Right now, it has a sheep's foot. I mean, you guys want to take a look. Um, again, this is 6.75 inches overall. And this guy is six and a quarter overall. This one didn't come with a sheath or anything. It would be nice if it did. And this one did come with, so let's let's poke it in there and see how it feels. Yeah, depending how you want it, you know. Not too bad. Very light. I guess I could weigh this for you guys. Nah, I'm not gonna weigh it. It's, really, it's light. It's probably like an ounce, maybe less. It has a pocket clip, a deep carry pocket clip. For anybody who wants to put it inside their pocket, I guess, but I can't imagine having it inside your pocket and you could still stick two fingers in there and pulling it out. Just have some slots here opening so your finger can go in there a little easier. But yeah, I think this is one of those guys that's just gonna hang out in my pocket. Let it get beat up, show some character, you know? Yeah, but um, so far, I like it. Uh, I'll probably get to carrying around a little more. And I'll let you guys know what I think. Uh, it's a little tight, so I can't do that same if I do it really hard. 
I can gonna get the first flick. Second flick. You could probably do that, but um not the same as that uh Zero two thirty. But so far overall, I'm digging it. Uh, everybody online who has it, you know, Civivi lately has been stepping their game up. Um, again, they are a sister in company or brother in company or whatever to Wee Knives, and Wee Knives is a little more expensive. But honestly, I, you know, I own a Banter, and they all feel very nice. I think the only difference from Civivi's and Wee Knives is um, they might up their steel a little bit. Um, I've been re researching online trying to find out what materials they use to make this Damascus, and it's kind of uh, secretive, I guess, for their um, process because they don't want other people to mimic it. But uh, yeah, with Wee Knives, you know, it's just, um, you know, Civivi, so you're either getting D2, and if they have a higher model, you might get S35EN. But um, with Wee Knives, I believe everything out there is like S35EN and up, you know, uh, to, to Boiler M390. And they don't have a lot of those D2 steals. But um, yeah, overall so far, uh, these guys are stepping their game up and I'm really liking their stuff they're making. And uh, this is not my the last Civivi knife and I'm sure you guys will see more of them coming. And uh, yeah, again, um, just can't get over how satisfying this is, how it's flushed and you can't even feel the bolsters uh, with the connecting because um, originally I was looking at buying a slip joint through MKM. I forget the model they had. I think it's called like Furley or something or Burley or something. Um, but it was a slip joint, but um, I think they use M390. But the big complaint or the chief main complaint that most people had was that the bolster and their micarta, you could tell there's a giant gap there. It'd be uneven. Videos or photos online would show that this part right here is pushed off. You see with my background, you could just tell it's flush right here. You can't even tell. But uh, for other other slip joints where they had the bolster, uh, it would just be totally off. And yeah, it just didn't look nice. So um, when I read so many good things about how Civivi did it with their Mercada into the carbon fiber, it just looks great. Had to have it. So that's it, guys. Um, I'll get some carry time with this, and I'll probably update the comments in, in the bottom and the below uh, just to see my thoughts, I guess. Uh, I won't be adding to this, but um, if you guys like what you see here, give me a like and subscribe. Uh, photos of this will be eventually up on my Instagram. That's M-R-I-I Toys. Again, M-R-I-I Toys. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if you like what you see here, and stay tuned for more stuff. Okay, guys? Stay sharp.